if a woman approaches you and she has headache blood in urine a little bit of chest pain and fatigue so what will you prescribe her hello everyone this is zohaib tahir from drugs discussion and today we are going to discuss about atinolol so a woman has approached and uh, as i have told you before the symptoms that she had told you or her physician so you will check her blood pressure first when you will see that her blood pressure is very much high means above 120 by 80 or 130 by 90 then it means she has hypertension but there are some other chances as well she might have pecto- uh, angina pectoris and she may also have heart failure so you have to check for the symptoms if you see that women is sweating then it means that it is angina pectoris and you will give the dose of the medicament as and then if you see that edema local edema are present on the body of the woman then you will prefer a high dose of atinolol and some other valsartan and uh, amlodipine etc etc when you see when you observe the patient and she has no sweating she has no edema but she has fatigue and vision problems headache and some symptoms like that so it means she is suffering from hypertension and then you can simply prescribe her atinolol now atinolol talking about atinolol and its brand name its brand name is uh, atinorm from the firoz sons industry and uh, what about dose if she is suffering from hypertension then what about the dose of it uh, you have to start with the 50 mg okay once a day uh, you can also divide the dose up to 25 mg but you have to take the dose twice a day and you have to prescribe the dose twice a day if you are giving her 25 mg then after this we have to see the indications as i have told you that uh, if she is suffering from hypertension then you can simply go for the atinolol but if she is suffering from the angina pectoris you can also go for the atinolol plus some other medications that we will discuss in the later lectures and if she is having heart failure then you can use atinolol with other medications okay so these are its indications atinolol indications now we have to discuss contraindications of it and in contraindications we have sinus bradycardia bradycardia very very common see when you are giving atinolol to a hypertensive patient means her or his heart rate is up the mark means she or he is having tachycardia so if uh, he he or she is having bradycardia then you are simply killing him or her okay so you have to prevent atinolol in case of bradycardia sinus bradycardia so similar is the case in hypotension and uh, and also you have to prevent atinolol during pregnancy if emergency crisis are there then you can give her atinolol otherwise you can't okay then at the end one of the best thing to explain is the mode of action and how atinolol acts it acts in a very simple way remember adrenergic receptors on the adrenergic receptors neurons are obsessed with the release of adrenaline and noradrenaline and the function of adrenaline is to enhance the heart rate 
so when ad adrenaline is released at the beta 1 receptor present in the heart so what will happen heart rate will be increased and uh, as a result blood pressure will also increase so in order to prevent the increase in the heart rate what we, we what we have to do we will simply block the beta 1 receptor present in the heart so its section is very simple atenolol will go and will bind to the beta 1 receptor and will not allow the release of adrenaline or noradrenaline on the beta 1 receptor and hence there will be no increased heart rate there was about atenolol and we will see you in the next video very soon till then you have to take care of yourself and your surroundings and please spread love and peace it's Sohaib Tahir from Drugs Discussion, signing out.